product review of the Gold Armor 10 by 12 rain fly. Just got it delivered yesterday. Weather was horrible. Today, a little bit better. Wanted to set it up before I take all of these children camping next weekend. And may have bumped my head thinking I could do that. But that's life. Uh, set up for actual bad weather. Big enough to where you can almost have doors on it. Just pull. Restake. Bungee cord so it doesn't rip. I had a nice chill gorilla that uh, I ripped tabs off because I used strictly paracord. If you look in. Here you got Dylan sitting in my hammock. That's my very first hammock I bought a couple years ago. Logged at least a hundred nights in that. She's held up great for 25 bucks. How you doing? Fine. Feeling any wind? No, it's just all underdraft, but there's not really any. Not hitting you at all? Nope. You sure? Yeah. All right. What do you think about it? Uh, it's nice. You can definitely, if you're on the ground, you can fit more than one with this. Um, for a hammock, it's actually perfect for an overtarp. Because you got like, like I said, it's got no wind. You're not feeling anything. And stay dry. You think so? Yeah. You gonna sleep out here tonight? No. You're supposed to get some bad weather. Yeah, I know. I just trimmed the two trees so you won't have a tree branch falling on you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Head offer. Head offer. I got the truck pull set up to give it a little bit more room. Go ahead and move that truck pull in front of you, Dylan. Nope. Take it out. Even with it out, blows over. You're not too crowded in there, are you? No. Plenty of room for your bag. Yeah. I'm not fine. You know. Got room for a kid to be in there with you. Here's Jordan with his broken hand. Boxer fracture. Wonder where he gets his anger issues from. Huh. Yeah. Check out the stitching on it. It's double stitched along the seams. Decent. Decent price. Got it for 25 bucks. Delivered. They were quick on the shipping though. Said it'd take two weeks to get here. Got here two days. So. I don't know. We're going to leave it out. See how bad it does or how good it does. Sixty one out? Yeah. How do you know it's sixty one degrees? It's so down the hall. Yeah. Okay, Hansley. Five, six, one. Hey, Rebecca. We had to walk this time. Hey, Carmine, Andrew Dillon. You bought the hammock campers? Um, well, this looks like it could really, like, it's a good tarp, obviously. And not only do I think it'll keep the wind out, I think that this could easily keep you. And, well, if you had to, more than just you, you could probably fit a few people under one of these. But I think this could keep you uh, dry, too. Yeah, you want to do a little on-ground demonstration for them ground-dwelling people? We can have to stretch it out. We can stretch it out. We can make a shelter on the ground. I mean, well, the 10 by, with a 10 by 12, you can fit easily me and him both in there. You think you'd fit me in there? With you? Yeah. Um, you think all three of us would? Uh, I think so. I I think it might be tight, but I think all three of us. Would yeah, be. yeah. Me too. It definitely would be tight. We stretching it out. Stretch it out. Move it around. The frog rope.
Why did you do that to me? No, they always fall down. Because I don't have them tied up there very good. Yeah. Jason, you were in there. It's fine. You can. You don't want to get the foot yeah, too, too tight. I can't do it. I can't. You don't want them ripping. Ah. Those things pop in the middle of the night and slap you in the face. That's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got experience getting slapped in the face with a bungee cord? Sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. Definitely. That hurts. You're not supposed to be filming us, buddy. <laughs> Don't mind Jordan, he's a rookie. You can definitely fit uh, actually a very good amount of people in here. Go ahead and lay down. Yeah, is it see Lexi here? You know. Passing the camera like it's hot potatoes. <laughs> Quite enough space. When I had a hammock, I, when I, my hammock, I just use it for an over blanket. How's that wind going? Uh, is it windy out there? Because I can't feel nothing. Sorry, hop out. Now that it's all opened up so they can see how much room is actually in there. Like that. I use the, uh, what's left of the space on top like this. I use that for my over blanket so my blankets don't get muddy when they fall. Out of my spot. Hey, sissy. You going camping with us next weekend? Yes. Can I? Can I? That's this weekend. I'm going next weekend. Plenty of room. For the family. Yeah, it can easily fit about three, four people, yeah. depending on size. Them ground-dwelling ground children, right here. The ground campers. Ground dwellers. <laughs> I'm too old to be doing that stuff. My back hurts too much. Yeah, you're almost groundish. Like The only time we ground camp was... Uh... I got plenty of room. Yeah, you... Dad. I don't want to be too high. I don't need to fall out and break my neck. <laughs> Come on now. I like high. I know what I would sleep. I would sleep just like this. You just sleep just like this? <laughs> I think you I, I think you're going to kill my shoulder if you try to do that, Jay. You have to sleep down here by his feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to sleep by my smoke feet after we hike all day? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. He's just sure. He's in. He's in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where'd that booba at? Where um, Bring me baby Patrick. Hey like, Patrick! And Alexis. This is my little brother Patrick. My little sister Lexi. Hi, little Patrick. brother Dylan. Little brother Andrew. Hi. See, you got Jordan on the camera, his brother Jeremy. Those are my two. And then I got my nephews. The fam. I'm missing a couple more nephews. Where's Nick Nye? Oh, he went back into Nana's. Okay. What are you, what are you viewing? What do you, what do you, what do you, you, you don't even know what you're, pass the camera. To who? You, you're fired. You're fired. Oh, you're fired. I'm fired. How am I fired? Hey, can I be Chris? Can I be camera guy? Yeah, let, let him be camera guy. It's you two. This ain't no professional stuff. We're a bunch of kids. Hey, Jordan. What do you think? Hey, can I see how You like this? Hey, it's you two. Yeah. Hey, can I see, hey, can I see how I fit? Yep. Yeah. Get your feet out of my hammock. Here, come on. You gotta sit down. <laughs> hey, you're gonna really put this 200 some odd pound uh, Hey, Lex. Oh, that walks. 200. You know what? 230, I was talking about that. Guys, what I was talking about is this. It's like about 230 to 50. Well, it's a single, so. Then this bag. And then the cheese straps are uh, 1500 yeah, straps I got off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. Yeah, 1500 Yeah, for sure. Hey, Cousin, come over here. Definitely environmentally safe. Okay, why'd you do that? Yeah. Always use tree straps. Yeah, always use tree straps. Don't use rope. If you're a hammock camper and you use rope, you're a douche. Seriously, it kills the trees. It cuts into the barks and injures them. Tree straps, take the camera around and show them the tree straps on the other side. 
You got to do it right if you're going to do it. 1,500 pound tree strap. Isn't cutting in. Holds it in place. Yeah, make sure you show them how uh, loose that uh, rope is for the tarp. This, it's actually not really tight. It's You can slide it up and down. It's just a support rope going from up. It just opens it up a little bit more. So you don't have them. I mean, I don't need them. I can take them out. But, can I hook them up? Say, I want to have a opening tool. A little bit better. What you should do is wrap it around like that. A couple of times. Once. Twice. Twice. Three times the lady. Okay. And it just holds it up. Wow. 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 And then all you have to do is... Jeremy, did you just run into that? Yeah. <laughs> it's high visibility rope. How do you run into it? No, because I didn't see it. You goofy. When I came out. And see, when you're camping with a bunch of kids, you don't want to spend a bunch of money. Because yep. accidents happen. Boy, what are you talking about? What am I... <laughs> no, I'm talking about COVID. <laughs> I'm trying to get this is a real rocky spot. I might have to get on my titanium sticks. Well, let me see that camera. There's camera. Hey, we know one thing for sure. Alright, well, for first impressions on the Golden Armor 10x12. <laughs> um, yeah. My brother's a knucklehead. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's well worth the 25 bucks. It beats the Walmart Menards, you know, By a tart lot. that you throw over your wood. By a lot. It's not as loud. I mean, I know there's a lot better quality <clears throat> rain flies out there, but I camp with a bunch of children. I don't want to invest a ton of money into something that could possibly get damaged first time out. I mean, we're not very gentle creatures. No. They used to say, leave a light. Leave a light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zoom on him, and then we're going to cut. So you say, you, you tell him what you just told me, too. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. How about a comment? Notification. Yeah. Notification. And comments. And you know, start a discussion. What's your favorite tarp you use? Do you camp with your kids? I mean, I need them. Yeah, that's a tree. Yeah, you gotta get them going young. Teach them to love nature. But remember, if Sasquatch and aliens can leave no trace, so can you. Cut the video. <laughs>